men having standards has completely changed the game. And honestly, I'm happy about it. I'm proud about it. I feel like more and more men should have standards, raise their standard even more. Because honestly, for so long, men's standards have been very low anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's just be real, you all. When it came to men in the past, you know, all a woman had to do was be nice. Somewhat. You know what I'm saying? Didn't care about uh, her being the woman that was, you know, that attractive. Uh, didn't care about her being a woman that was that cooperative. As long as you were somewhat nice, men were like, okay, yeah, I can work with her. Um, yeah, she probably needs somebody to be more patient with her. Yeah, I'll tolerate her. Like, that was the energy in the past of a lot of men. Let's be honest, you all. It was a lot of tolerating going on. Very low with the standard. Now, we're starting to see men require the the baseline, if you will. This is why I'm saying, like, y'all could really raise the standard up some more, but, you know, we're going to let y'all live. Since men have raised their standard to baseline, which is having somebody that's going to respect me, somebody that's going to honor me, somebody that I can trust, um, a woman that is going to uh, collaborate with me effectively. Since men have raised their bar to the baseline of that, the world has been in shambles. And to me, it really speaks volumes about the climate of today's women. And I can honestly and truthfully say this and admit this as a woman myself, right? I see how women now are in an uproar because men have standards now. And again, baseline standards. And to me, that exposes us, ladies. It exposes us. If we're having an issue with just meeting the, the baseline standard of respecting a man, uh, being somebody that is, uh, again, cooperative, being somebody that at least looks decent, you know, it has common courtesy and, you know, common human decency. Like, if we can't even meet that, what does that say? What does that say about our character, our mindsets, the things that we have been partaking in and indulging in? It says a lot. It says that men for so long have been letting us just coast by and get by for so long that we lost grasp of what we're truly supposed to be. Right? And it's getting so real in the field out here, you all, that even the men... I can't even call him men. And, and it's no shade to this brother. I don't know who he is. I see him on TikTok a lot, just really to the real women's behinds. But nonetheless, it's no shade for real to this brother. But I can't even call somebody like this a man. But you even have males out here, okay? Um... Taking heed to this new energy that men are possessing. And they're like, hold on, this is weird. What, it, what is wrong with you men? Why aren't you, you men chasing up behind women? Why aren't you men obsessing about women anymore? Like y'all are, y'all are crazy. No, men are just more wise now. They realize that all of that chasing a woman and obsessing over her and trying to beg her to act right and try to beg her to be what she needs to be, it's a waste of time. It's a headache. It's stressful. It's disastrous. It leads to nowhere. We're at a point now to where men are like, look, if you cannot be on my program, I will leave you behind. I'll fly overseas. I'll be by myself. Like we're dealing with that. Because again, so much time, energy, love, money, support has been wasted, has been in vain from men doing exactly what this brother here is complaining that they don't do no more. Now, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's get into this. So the caption of this says men aren't obsessed with women anymore and it's weird. 
I don't know what's weird about men having standards and men respecting themselves and having boundaries, but okay, sir, go off. Let's get into it, you all. And again, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Men aren't obsessed with women anymore, and it's weird. These men are more into themselves than they are women. They expect a woman to buy them flowers and chocolate. In their mind, they're the catch, and women should chase them. But that was never how it was intended to be. As men by nature, we are hunters. Women are the catch. We gotta put the work in. But these men are too self-absorbed, and they expect a woman to do everything. Hold on, because we got stuff to say. Um, and we're going to continue in a second because there's more uh, that we need to dive into. Um, the issue that I have with guys like the brother that I just played is the fact that they mix in truth with a lot of fluff, right? <laughs> a lot of pandering, if you will. And we, we're going to be honest and call a spade a spade. That's what it is, y'all. And, and what makes it so crazy is they'll swear up and down that that's what I do to men. Oh, you're just pandering to men. No, I keep it real on all fronts, on all sides. And y'all just don't like it. Y'all just can't handle it. But nonetheless, I keeps it grizzled against the grizzle. See, if I was pandering to men, I would say, oh, no, a man is not the hunter. The man should not have to provide and protect and lead and teach. The man should not have to go out of his way to make sure that his family is secure. You know, the man should just be resting in his masculinity and living his best life and barking around orders and living off his women. That would be pandering. But again, I'm going to be real and say this. I agree with the fact that he said you know, the man is the hunter. The man is the one that goes out and uh, gathers things. And that the man is the one that goes out into the world and makes sure that he is able to be self-sufficient. You know, provide again, lead. Like, that's the man's role. So I agree with him there. But where the fluff comes into place is when he talks about, you know, the man should pretty much kiss a woman's behind. Like, what are the women supposed to do? See, we're so busy consuming ourselves with what the man's role is and what a man is supposed to do for a woman that we do not even tell these women, and I use that term very loosely in this instance, what they're supposed to be doing as far as securing the type of man that would be doing such things for her. Let that marinate. Let's really break that down. So many times and so much we hear about men do this for women. Men do that for women. Men are supposed to. Men are supposed to be. Men are supposed to. Like, we're overly consumed with that. But do y'all ever take the time out? to really analyze what you're saying and ask yourselves, hmm, are we dealing with women to begin with? And again, no disrespect. Shout out to the real women out there that are doing what they need to do. But the majority of what we see out here are not women. You have womanly parts. But as far as your mentality, your lifestyle, your personality, the way that you conduct yourself, the way that you treat men, hell no. A man shouldn't do anything for you. Not pro provide, not protect, not lead, not love, not trust, nothing. Let's be honest. So yeah, a man should do this and a man should be this and a man should, yeah, all day long. But if he is doing those things for a chick not a woman that does not qualify for it can you still turn around and hold that man to that same standard why are we teaching men and young brothers out here to do all of these grand things for women that are not doing a lick a fraction an ounce a scrape 
of what they're doing for these women. We don't teach reciprocity. We, we teach ass kissing. Whoopsie. Excuse my language. I'm just being real. That's what we teach. Oh, no. The woman just lays up. The, the woman just, you know, does what she wants to do. She can even waste your time if she wants to. But at the end of the day, if you a real man, you're going to allow her to waste your time. If you a real man, you're going to tolerate whatever she dishes out to you. And men today are saying, no, sir. No, ma'am. And again, I'm proud about it. I'm happy about it because what that essentially does is kicks it into a lot of women's minds. And again, I use the word women very loosely in this regard. It kicks it into their minds that, dang, if I want a man to provide for me and protect me and be with me and love me, be committed and devoted to me, to marry me, start a family with me, I have to embody the traits that said man would identify as something that is suitable and complementary to his life. So let me step my game up so I can qualify. That's why personally I'm proud about it. So yeah, I'm going to be real enough to say, yeah, a man should do this and a man should do that. And men do. But what I won't do and sit around and tell a man that he should be obsessing over somebody that does not respect him, does not love him, does not care about him, and is just there to use him. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even tell a man to obsess over a woman if she was everything that he was looking for. That's terrible, poor advice. And I'm very ashamed that a brother is saying this. But again, I get it. Maybe you're doing a little bit of pandering. Okay, whatever. But still, that's dangerous. That's dangerous advice to tell young men out there or men in general to obsess. Obsession is a toxic trait. Y'all know y'all love that damn word, toxic. Uh, to obsess is unhealthy. That means you are overindulged to where it becomes a distraction and you can end up Allowing yourself to perish away because you're not focusing on anything else outside of what you are obsessing over. So absolutely not. Men not obsessing over women is what needs to be in place. Men obsessing over women in the past, that has been their downfall. So under no circumstance should a man place a woman at the center of his world. No, a man, like you said, is supposed to be out here hunting, getting to it. How can he hunt and get to it if he's obsessing over this chick? No. Anyway, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let, let's play this again because this dude tripping. Men aren't obsessed with women anymore and it's weird. You're weird, sir. And I'm sorry. No shade. You're weird for thinking that men should obsess over women. That shows me and tells me a lot about you and your priorities and the type of male that you are. Real men are out here getting to the bag. They're focusing on self-development de and self-improvement, not a, a female. Real men understand that when you focus on yourself and you focus on your goals and you focus on your finances and you focus on developing yourself as a man, the women will come after that. The, the women come as a result of you doing those things. So therefore, there's no need to obsess over her when it's going to be a given once you get all of your ducks in a row. Again, this is dangerous and terrible advice, but we're going to let you go. These men are more into themselves than they are women. How about it's because the women have been out here being more into themselves than being the quality women for these men to uh, entertain, be in relationships with, have families with. All men are doing is dishing us back the same energy that we met them with initially. They're only responding to what we're doing. They're only meeting us and giving us the same medicine that we've been shoving down their throats for decades. And... 
I don't like how he's trying to paint this out to be a bad thing. Like a man should be more into himself than women. You know, like it's levels and layers to that conversation. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Just follow me for a second. When a man is focused on himself, that means once again, he's going to have the foundation set for whatever woman comes into his path, comes into his life because he is somebody that is self-sufficient. So yes, a man should be more to more into himself than a woman. It's the if y'all peep the game, right? Because y'all know we some game peepers out here, and I will get my my t shirts made. Shout out to Crownhead Nation. We gonna get the game peeper uh, t shirts. But if you are a game peeper, you notice and you realize that it is actually the men out there that are overly consumed and overly focused on women that are the furthest behind in life. But the men that focus on themselves, the men that are more into themselves as far as elevating, evolving, growing, again, developing, those men are further ahead. Why? Because they don't have any distractions. Put a two in the chat if you follow your little big sister so far. I hope I'm breaking it down for y'all. Because later, I'm going to show another video of a young brother actually checking him and, and schooling him on this piss poor narrative that he's trying to spin. But put a two. And if you disagree, uh, put a one and tell me why. But let's continue, y'all. I just got to break it down bit by bit. It says they expect a the woman to buy them flowers and chocolate. No, but they do ex expect reciprocity and appreciation. They expect a woman to buy them flowers and chocolate. In their mind, they're the catch. And but they are. <laughs> sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry to keep pausing it. But they are. Men are the catch. I, I, I know. It sounds very panderish, right? It sounds very pick-me-esque. I know. But just let, let's really be real and analyze everything in its proper context. Right. Let's get about let's get our feelings and really analyze things as they are, not for what we want them to be. OK. Men are the catch because men are the ones that are going out there catching. You just said it yourself, sir. You said men are the hunters. Men are the ones that yeah, men catch the fish. So that the women can eat. Without the men going out to catch, I have nothing to cook. Like, again, peep the game. The, the man is the catch. Which is why when it comes to women, we need to be trying to qualify ourselves for those said men that are the catch so that we can be a part of his universe, a part of his life. Why? So our lives can be easier. But you got to be complimentary to his life to begin with, though. You just can't pull up like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to do this. No, because what I say earlier, a man ain't supposed to do anything if you're not doing what you need to do as a woman. So, yeah, a man is supposed to be doing those things for a quality woman. But a lot of these chicks out here are not quality women. So what we need to do is try to qualify ourselves for these quality men that are a catch so that we can be chose up on. But since we're so ego driven and self centered and selfish and users, let's just be honest. And again, shout out to the women that this is not applied to, but y'all know what we're dealing with. Okay. Men are now just passing this up all together. That's the issue. It's not that men are just out here being egotistical and self centered and no conceited. No, that's not the case. Men are now realizing their worth, realizing their value, and they're not just selling themselves short and selling themselves cheap just to say they got some vagina at home. Women should chase them 
but that was never how it was intended to be. As men by nature, we are hunters. Women are the catch. We gotta put the work in. But these men are too self-absorbed and they expect a woman to do everything. False. So many lies. So many lies. So much gaslighting. And, and you just wouldn't, you wouldn't even expect that to come from a, a guy. Like, you should know what's going on out here. Like, come on now. That, that, that was just false. But let's continue because this next brother is going to pretty much wrap and sum everything up in a nice little package bug. There are countless situations where men have messed up their life because of choosing the wrong woman, being with the wrong woman. So, yes, men now decide, hey, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to be a better man and I'm going to reach my goals and aspirations before I settle down. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, because guess what? Women always going to be there. Women ain't going nowhere. Oh. And this also be it. We spoke to our granddaddies. We spoke to our daddy father figure we even spoke to women and women would be like yeah go focus on yourself because some of these women out here aren't good for you and this also is it people always women always got a problem when men have standards and the reality of the situation is the only people that are gonna have a problem with standards are the people that can't meet those standards this this guy right here just summed it all like i said he summed it up perfectly right and under two minutes like he just laid it all down like look we got the game see th this is what we don't understand and y'all like the video share the video and subscribe what we don't understand is that men have learned from the men that were before them which is great they have observed, look, if I go this route, I could end up like my uncle and I don't want to end up like my uncle. If I go that route, I could end up like my brother, like my daddy and my grandpa. I don't want to end up like them. I saw how that road went. Then you have other older gentlemen out here who have gone through certain things and they're like, look, don't do what I did, do it this way. Or they're saying, no, do what I did because I did things differently and this was my result. So you, you have men out here actually showing and proving that what they have done has worked out and they're giving the younger brothers out here, like this young man that we are seeing, the game. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. So what I need to do is focus on myself, focus on my goals. The women will always be there. Why would the women always be there? Well, I said it earlier. The women will always be there for these type of men because these type of men have what a lot of women are looking for, which is that of being a leader. Uh, th they are a provider. They are a protector. They have their foundation set up nicely. Like those men will always be in high demand. So they don't even worry about, oh, I need a woman. Oh, I'm upset over. No. A, a woman is the least of their concerns or their worries. The only issue that they're having with a lot of women up today is the fact that they are not in alignment. Other than that, it's just like, oh, hopefully they'll, they'll get it one day. But until they do, I'm going to do me. Why? Because what did he just say? We are learning. Let's play it again. Let's play it again and break it down because he, he broke it down. There are countless situations where men have messed up their life because of choosing the wrong woman. That is facts. These young guys out here have, again, peeped the game and they saw or, or they've seen a lot of cases to where, damn, this brother was well on his way. But because he dealt with the wrong woman, everything collapsed. Everything crumbled around him. How do I avoid that? Oh, I know. I don't obsess over these chicks, especially the ones that are out of alignment. Oh, I know. I focus on myself, making sure that my priorities are intact, making sure that I thoroughly analyze every woman that I interact with. Let's continue. Being with the wrong woman. 
So yes, men now decide, hey, I'm gonna focus on myself. I'm gonna be a better man and I'm gonna reach my goals and aspirations before I settle down. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Cause guess what? Women always gonna be there. Women ain't going nowhere. And this also be it. We spoken to our granddaddies. We spoke to our daddy, father figure. We even spoke to women and women would be like, yeah, go focus on yourself. Cause some of these women out here aren't good for you. Your little big sis. Your little big sis going to tell you that. I sure will. I will give my young brothers and my young sisters the game. And I'll tell them, like, look, avoid this. Avoid that. Because all it's going to do is really consume you, throw you off track, and just have you down and out. So, yes, absolutely focus on yourself, especially as you are developing and growing into your own person. The women will be there. As a matter of fact, once you build yourself up to a point, you'll have so many women to choose from. It will be just a headache and a hassle. You know? So, yes. Little big sis going to tell you that too. And this also is it. People always, women always got a problem when men have standards. And the reality of the situation is the only people that are going to have a problem with standards are the people that can't meet those standards. Bars. Big bars. The only people that have an issue with uh, somebody having standards is somebody that does not qualify. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that because I'm not this and I'm not that. And so don't have that standard because then you're going to X me out. Absolutely. Step your game up and then maybe, just maybe, I'll give you some play. But until then, yeah, step aside. Move around. And that's what we're ultimately dealing with today. Ultimately, what we're dealing with today is a, an issue or a problem that a lot of people have with just not being up to par, on code, if you will. So it, it, it'll be very easy for somebody who is not meeting a, a, a standard to say, don't have that standard because I want in on what you have. Let's be honest and let's be clear, you all. It is getting harder and harder by the day out here. People are losing jobs. We got inflation. It, men ain't checking for us like that no more. And I'm talking about real quality men, not smoky. Okay. And so what you're going to start to see is a lot more women in particular complain about men having standards because they need help. They want in. I, if I need help and I want in, but I don't qualify, yes, I'm going to shame you. Yes, I'm going to complain about it. Yes, I'm going to try to ridicule you so that you can drop those things so you can just accept me because, again, I need somebody to help me. But men are saying no more and y'all can't handle that. Y'all have been the downfall of a lot of guys out here. And they said enough is enough and it won't be me and i salute these young brothers because what they're gonna essentially be one day is great quality husbands great quality fathers to great women because guess what they're not gonna just accept any old woman to be a part of their equation men like this young brother are going to raise the bar to where we have again wholesome family units healthy family units strong family units why because he's going to pick the best woman for the job he's not just going to tolerate any old thing he's not going to be shamed into just settling no which means that any woman that he chooses to be with best believe she's going to be top notch she's going to be a great wife she's going to be a great mother and ultimately, hopefully, we can come together and raise up beautiful families, thriving families, as the result of quality young men coming together with quality young women and building. But until then, 
Yeah, men are not chasing you. Men are not kissing your behind and men are not selling for you. So step your game up and hopefully you get chose up on. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, do you agree with the first gentleman that we played? Uh, do you disagree with the first gentleman that we played? Do you disagree with the last gentleman that we played? Do you uh, agree with him? Y'all let us know. Okay, I would love to hear all of y'all feedback in the comment section down below. But I have to let y'all know that yes, men have standards and it's shaking up the whole game and they cannot handle it. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe and I'm gonna see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.